Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of October 18th through the 26th. So, what do we have for Libra for the week of the 18th through the 26th? What do we have for Libra? Spear, heartache over what you no longer have. So that hurts. Archway. New opportunities, possibilities, and paths opening up. So a new path is opening up. Pin, new job or career. So it could be a new career path. A new doorway is opening up, so that's great. But there is some sort of heartache here. Um, that hurts. Something hurts. So, let's see... This could be a new school if you're in school. Could be in, whatever it is. It's a new opportunity. It's like a pin cushion. That's interesting. Yeah, and, and it's interesting because if you think about the pins and the pin cushion, you choose. Usually, you just choose which one you want. So you're gonna have choices. It's the truth. It is the truth. It could be new schools. Two of Wands reversed. Eight of Pentacles reversed. So, somebody's not putting in much effort. Something isn't working out. Uh, there's some sort of indecisiveness here. There could be a sudden departure. Okay, this could be a sudden departure because something isn't working out. Okay, the two of wands reversed is uh, lack of planning. It's like unplanned. Somebody has been choosing the safest option. There could be a spur of the moment decision that is coming up. There is definitely a new path that is coming up. Okay, this is new opportunities, possibilities, and path. This is new job, career. So whatever it is, something new is, oh, it's very sudden. May have to maybe maybe you suddenly get let go or you, it's suddenly time to move or something like that. Um, Hierophant. So the Hierophant is a teacher. It is a teacher. Is a guidance being guided. Listen to your gut. You may be also be dealing with a Taurus. This is somebody in a position of authority, making a decision. Authoritative figure. Authoritative figure that is making a, a decision to go down a new path. Somebody's making a decision to go down a new path. Now this is being guided. This is a direct connection to God. Um, believe, believe in yourself. Believe and have faith that this is the right direction to go in. Everything happens for a reason. This is a higher power that is involved. It feels like this is a blockage of some sort, but the blockage is being removed. There could be some sort of, uh, I don't know, delays. There's been some sort of delays here. There could be some more delays. There could be an de upcoming delay or something like that. The Hierophant is about faith. Now, there could be an upcoming marriage, there could be a funeral, a graduation. This is somebody that is very spiritual, that may be guiding you down a new path as well. I feel like you are being guided down a new path. Ah, oh, and I knew there was some sort of delay. There's been some sort of delay. Some there's been too many delays. Now this is lack of control. Emotions all over the place. Your emotions may be all over the place. 
this week. Something could come to a dead stop, okay? If you had some sort of plans, some there could be a... Your plans may not be working out, okay? Something could get delayed. There could be some restrictions that are coming. They're unplanned. Unplanned restrictions. I don't know where that is coming from. You know, your plans, whatever you were planning on doing, there things could go awry, put it that way. Things could not go the way that you thought they were going to do, go. Okay, then it's like... You may have thought you were going to work all week or you were going to go to school all week or whatever. You're not. Okay. Something is going to, it feels like there, maybe there's car issues. I mean, this could go so many different ways. Whatever way, th this is protection. Okay. This is protection. There's some sort of divine guidance here. You are being guided. I feel like you are being protected. I do believe that you are, but this is... This is stop. This is anger. This is lack of direction, feeling scattered and all over the place. I feel like you're going to have a hard time mastering your emotions this week. I feel like something happens that was unplanned with that two of wands reversed. Somebody may be staying put. You know, they thought they were going to go somewhere. They thought they were going to do something and they're not. And I know that's a different message, but... Now, the Page of Cups is typically good news that is coming in. Welcome news. News of a birth. News of a baby. Um, somebody flirting. Showing feelings. You're also going to need to follow your heart and trust your gut this week. Okay? Listen to your gut a lot. You're going to be getting a lot of messages. I do feel like it's going to be an emotional week because this is emotional. This is an emotional outburst. You know, can't master your emotions. So you may have an emotional outburst this week. Hermit, need to go within, need to retreat, need to withdraw from others. Something could happen that makes you feel the need to withdraw. You may need to go within to plan. Something happens which stalls or stops your, you know, stops you in your tracks. And you need to replan. You need to plan your next move. You may need some al alone time. You may also now uh, have some sort of new identity. So you may be realizing, you know, your true identity. You're going to need to definitely listen to yourself this week. Listen to your gut. Go within. Take time alone to deal with whatever is happening. I think you're going to need some time alone this week. Um, I think it's going to be an emotional week for some reason. Queen of Wands reversed. So the Queen of Wands reversed is an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could be dealing with uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Virgo, Cancer, Taurus. Um, something isn't working out. I think you've got somebody around you that isn't healthy. This person is, is ill. They're sick. They're weak. They are losing their... Uh, maybe they're losing weight. I don't know where that came from. I feel like I don't even know where that came from. It just popped out. Um, King, that Queen of Wands reverse. This is somebody that is uh, unhealthy. You have somebody here that is unhealthy. You're going to receive some news about this person. This person is giving up. They're giving up something. They're not putting in much effort. This person doesn't have any uh, ambition, doesn't have any drive. So you have somebody here that is very forceful, though, very lazy, very... Whoever this person is, they don't have any energy or desire or strength. They've, they may have lost their power or they're losing their power. They're losing their... Uh, Whole, per se. Now the Queen of Wands reversed is, I don't know if you're dealing with a Leo Aries Sagittarius. This person is very forceful, okay? Uh, lies, throws tantrums, is overly self-righteous. 
You could be dealing with somebody. This is a know-it-all. You can't. This person. You can't reason with this person. Unreasonable. Okay. You have an unreasonable person around you that uh, definitely thinks that they know it all. This person um, is self-righteous. You know, entitled as well. So I don't know who you're dealing with, but something isn't working out with this person. I feel like this person is going to throw a tantrum because that's what they do when they don't get their way. You know, they try to turn everything around back onto you so the blame is all on you. So I think you are dealing with somebody this week that um, I feel like you, it's just not working out with this person. You may decide that you want to retreat, that you want to go your own way. It's over. It's done. Uh, this is the death of a situation. The Ten of Swords. It, this has been very painful. It's a painful ending. Ending. There's been a lot of suffering. This is a betrayal of some sort. Um, somebody may go as low as they can go. Maybe they've been flirting with somebody at work. Okay, because this is flirting at work, and you know. I don't know if you get if you find out about it or something like that. Um, some because this is flirting. This is at work. The eight of coins. So I'm not sure who you're dealing with. Um, maybe you're been you've been flirting with somebody at work. I don't know. There's somebody here that um, is feeling betrayed and is suffering. And I feel like this person that is suffering is going to act out. You know, I feel like whoever is in pain and suffering is going to act out. Put it that way. This Ten of Swords reverse is the end of a situation. Again, giving up. Giving up. I can't do this anymore. Um, it's over. This is death. Goodbye. You know, this is too much. This is the straw that breaks the camel's back. So I feel like you are dealing with somebody that... Uh, Really, really, it feels like they really hurt you. You know, this hurts. This hurts a lot. I feel like you, you, uh, this is a realization. It really is. You may find something. You may see something. Okay? You may see something that, uh, I think it's quite a surprise. I think it's quite a surprise. And I feel like it changes your direction. It puts something at a complete stop. It, it changes your plans. It does. It changes your plans completely. Um, yeah, there's going to be a fight. There's going to be a fight. There's going to be a battle with this person. This person is highly competitive. You're dealing with a competitor who likes to fight a lot. So I feel like you're going to deal with somebody who definitely can't master their emotions and it feels like they pick a fight with you or, or somebody that you live with or something like that. And somebody sees, because this is enlightenment, they see that they have to put a stop to something and perhaps they need to leave. Okay, so there could be a sudden departure. Sun, suddenly somebody leaves, you know. Um, this is no success, lack of progress. Uh, unwelcome news we have somebody here that is definitely leaving they are leaving because they're sick of the fighting they're sick of the fighting there's no progress there's no success here they're being guided to leave anyway they're being guided to uh, retreat and, and leave something behind to uh, stop engaging so um, this is stop. It is stop engaging. It is definitely stop engaging. Stop, stop, stop putting yourself in that battle. You know, pick your battles. Just stop. Just go. You know, so somebody is being told by their gut or whatever to go. Um, so I feel like you will be dealing with some suffering this week. I do see suffering with the Ten of Swords as you are, uh, it's feeling feeling hurt, feeling hurt over uh, being alone because this is being alone. You may be feeling very lonely. You may be feeling like you are all alone because something didn't work out with another person. Whoever you are dealing with has probably been flirting with. If it's a if it's a woman, especially if it's a woman, this is flirting. This is multiple competitors, very and highly competitive 
So there is somebody here that, you know, has a lot of players, okay? This is somebody who plays a lot of games. This is this is playing games. So I think that you've been dealing with somebody who plays a lot of games. Um, but I think it's over. I think it's over. I think that you will be separating. You will be. I think that you're going to be going your own way. Um, because you don't want to, you don't want to fight, right? You're sick of fighting and, and so yeah. And this may be somebody that you work with. Okay. Somebody could be getting let go because somebody could be walking out and leaving. I quit. I quit. That could definitely be the case. Um, heartache over what you no longer have. I do feel like you will be feeling the pain of an ending this week. And you will need to go within and to plan your next move. You will need to go within and re-identify who you are now that this is over and where you want to be in the future. Um, reality check. Moon reverse. That is a reality check. That is truths being revealed. Um, I feel like, uh, there's some sort of sneaky behavior here. You are dealing with somebody that is very deceptive, could be an absent mother or a mother-in-law or something like that. This person is very deceptive, very sneaky. They have some tricks up their sleeve. They're, I think something is going to be revealed that hurts you and we and this doesn't have to be a mother it's somebody that is very sneaky and sly and deceptive uh this person wants to win they want to win at all costs they don't care who you, who who they hurt and i feel like uh you may end up angry you may end up really angry when you find out um whatever this is i think you're going to find out something this person has been hiding something they've been keeping something a secret and I feel like it gets revealed, it gets seen, and it almost feels like it's the ultimate betrayal. This is this is a shock. It is definitely a shock to you. But anyway, I do feel like uh, your life is about to change in a positive way. Because now I have the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom, and that is good luck. That is a positive move. This is destined, carmony, uh, carmony. destiny and karma. Okay, this is good luck that's on its way. This is the wheel of life that is spinning you in a new direction. This is a cycle of your life that is coming to an end. Basically a chapter that is coming to an end. So there is one, there is a, there's a chapter of your life that is coming to an end. And you are going to be beginning anew. I th also feel like you're going to be, uh, well obviously you're going down a path that you have never been down before because of that archway. I think that it's fearful. I think that you're fearful. I think that you're scared. But I think that you need to have courage. And don't let fear get in the way of your new beginning. Because you do have something here. But you're going to have to... Uh, before you go down that new path, you're going to be dealing with somebody that... I don't know. I think you're dealing with a massive liar. I think you're dealing with somebody that is very deceptive. Uh, very, very, very deceptive. And I think that there's two people working together. And I think you're going to be shocked when you find what you read. You know, it's like you're going to read something or you're going to see something about these two people working together. And it's going to... Uh, I don't know. I know. We don't have the Three of Swords, but it's heartbreaking. Um... Either way, you're going to need to withdraw this week and reflect. You're going to need time to reflect on whatever it is that you see. God is definitely guiding you down a new path, so don't resist it. Somebody's lying to you about something, and you're about to find out exactly what it is. Good luck.